I think the predominant reason why it was restored was due to the closure of the City North campus. So the students needed a space to just relax and chill and be able to get a drink. So this, I think, was the perfect thing for them to have. So, yeah, it's the Eagle and Ball. And I'd say everybody that hasn't or doesn't even know about it to come down and just see what we've got to offer. Basically this pub um, was fairly run down and it was renovated as part of the whole new scheme to do this building which is the Curzon building. Um, it was open until a few years ago under Moby Dicks but that changed uh, back to the Eden Ball when we reopened it this year. I quite like the design because it kind of brings back, it's, it's having the both worlds merge together so uh, we actually have around the pub the old student magazine as well as uh, just little things that which are indicative of SU personally I think. I think it's quite relaxed but at times on a Friday night it can be quite busy, quite loud and that kind of has that bar sort of feel as well. So honestly it varies depending on what time of day that you're here and when you're here. Like special nights such as uh, that we run regularly. Serve pretty much loads of variety of beers and spirits and just loads of fun for what you want from an SU pub. I think it's very important to students especially and definitely staff. I think especially around stressful periods such as deadlines and exams to be able to come in this space and be able to relax for a bit and have a drink and chill, watch some TV, watch some type of football games in here as well. Um, it's what students need and as well as that I know a lot of people come in here and actually do their work here and order food and have a drink so that they don't have to go home and cook. Um, and then come back in. I don't think old buildings need to be knocked down. I think if you can make the effort, if you can do it well, restoration can be really good. I think it generally just depends on who you have and what market you have and what building you have in terms of restoring things. Because obviously some buildings are listed so they have to stay as they are for their importance culturally and architecturally. So I think a lot of the time we're in so much of a rush to knock down things and destroy things that you don't think about the things in which they represent and that potentially they could become as well rather than building a totally new thing on top just because we want it to look modern and nice.